Yes, the journey of a thousand miles it says starts with a step. And on that note, I welcome you to Legend Life and Times with Francis Okoli, your captain, your driver, your coach. And I am taking you on this wonderful journey. So hop in, come into the ship, the train, get into the jet, the plane, and let's go. Where are we going to? Remember to tighten your seatbelt. And off we go. Where are we going to? We are going to the western region of Nigeria. The old Lagos in the British and Nigeria. And we are talking about somebody, a legend, a wonderful person. I will not reveal it now, but we are going to the Awori, Awori tribe in Lagos. Who are we talking about today? A feminist, a cosmetologist, the first editor of African Women magazine in the 70s, a journalist, a television presenter, no other person than Taiwo Ajayi Lyset. <laughs> Taiwo Ajayi Lyset is this woman that I respect a lot, so sound, well cultured, and a professional to the core. Taiwo Ajayi Lyset. OON was born on the 3rd of February 1941 in Lagos, with the western region in the British Nigeria. And you know what we are saying? She attended, though she is the first uh, said Taiwo in the Yoruba clan, we have Taiwo, we have the Kenny, the, the Kenny. So she is the first set of his, the first of the set of twins, and they are all girls, two girls on the 4th of February, 1940 in Lagos. Her father was of the Awori heritage, I told you earlier. She was educated at Carmel Convent, Mount Carmel Convent School, Lagos, before proceeding to the Methodist Girls High School, also in Lagos. Taiwo furthered her studies by traveling to the London to study business administration in, the Lon in London at the, the Christine Shaw School of Beauty Science in London, where she received a certificate in cosmetology. She also attended Hendon College of Technology, where she also obtained a higher national diploma in business studies in 1969. While studying, she worked as a waitress at Leon's Tea Shop. Then moved to the post office and later advertising. In the post office, she started as a personal secretary in 1962 and later worked as a senior secretary in the office of Lord Hall. Taiwo moved to advertising and was in the personal department of advertising firm Young and Rubicon. She then worked as a personal assistant to the margin partner of Gresham Broad and Co., an accounting firm. She first became a mother of the, at the age of 15. So pathetic. That trauma really didn't help her because that time she was rejected by her parents. You know, that kind of stigmatization, a lot of uh, scars that, are, that were not shown. And it really affected her in life. Because when the parents ignored her, she then enrolled herself for evening class. In 1959, she had the opportunity to go to the United Kingdom through her friend, David Akinduro, a man friend, whom she later married. However, the marriage eventually broke due to domestic violence. The man kept on beating her, maltreating her, and she didn't enjoy it and they, they divorced and later she saw and met Thomas Lysett and uh, however you know something happened that she also that I don't know she, it was so pathetic for her she in 2000 and she, she was robbed and raped in a house in Igbo in Lagos I think that was where she returned 
and so pathetic. How did she start? Her acting career debuted in December 1966 in the Wolesha Yankas, the Lion and the Jewel. You know the Lion Jewel, the CD and the, the Fakunle, the Lakunle, a two-act comedy directed by William Gaskill at the Royal Court Theatre in London. They adapted the Lion and Jewel of Wally Shinka, very popular. Her acting debut was not planned. She was in the Riaza Hall of the play where she was asked by Gaskill to be a participant. After the encouragement she received following her performance and the invitation from President Adam Fulu, she decided to take a career in acting. She enrolled at the, the Good Hulk School of Music and Drama. And in 1972, she left her corporate career and joined the, the Travers Theatre Group for the Edinburgh Festival in London. She was later in a string of television and stage shows. In 1973, she was in Amadou Dumandi's play Life Everlasting at the African Centre in London. And later in the year, you know that time, it was stage plays, adaptation of plays, the like of Mambes and so many. It was staged everything. It must be sound, it must be good before you can feature in any of the, of the productions. And later that year, she was at the Peter Nichols National Hair during the Festival of British Theatre. In 1970, she, she played the role in Yemi Ajibade's Passive Post at the Royal Court Theatre together with actor Louis Mahoney and the writer Mark Phillips. She was a director with the Black Theatre Workshop in London. She returned to Nigeria in 1971. She was featured in several notable Nigerian films, including the popular Tin Cell, you know it, the award winning Nigerian soap opera. Ajay Lysel also featured in other notable works such as the Nigerian movie, Olobiri, you know the Olobiri, the blood oil, very popular. In 2016, action thrill movie Olobiri was directed by Curtis Graham. Produced by Rogers Ofime and stead in addition to Lysette, uh, Ulu Jacobs, Richard Mofed Damijo, Aaron Dewey. The film tells the story of how government, government agencies along with oil companies exploited the newly discovered oil in the historic town of Uluibiri. It's just a satire that was played to tell a story of how we have, Nigeria is being robbed, not Nigeria per se, the Niger Delta has been robbed of their oil that has been explored in their region and so many stories there. So pathetic. In 1975, Ajay Lysette was invited to join the staff of African magazine published by Ralph Wichwe. Later, she became the pioneer editor of the African Woman magazine, a women's magazine for Africa in the diaspora. As editor, she was a participant in the United Nations International Women's Year. In, on October 1st, 2006, she received the National Award of the Officer of the Order of Niger, decorated by Chief, the former, former President, Olusha Gobasanjo. Then, in February 2018, at an All-Star Gala held in Theatre Royal, Stanford East, in the 10th anniversary of Theatre Fahosdi, she was honored as a leader of British African theatre alongside Dotun Adebayo and Yemi Ajibari. She is a fellow of the Society of Nigerian Theatre Artists, SUNTA. She was honored with the Industry Media Award in 2022 African Magic Viewers Choice Awards. And on 14th May 2022, the award event was held at the Eco Hotel in Lagos. So wonderful. This woman represented Nigeria so wonderful, even in London, everywhere. She, she selects her choice of a presentation. She doesn't just feature in any kind of productions anyhow. Need I tell you that she is the first person that acted, you know, the popular Frank Spencer. Some mothers do have them. She acted alongside uh, Frank Spencer, the popular funny, Frank Spencer and uh, so wonderful she acted and something that is so wonderful, so memorable that even to today she is still being paid, paid because of the work 
she acted in, in France Mensa. So where do we go to now? We are going to sell what we are selling in Prison VR Television. We are going to sell Nokwa, that is what we produce here, Nokwa Habar Vitas, Nokwa Tonic, Nokwa Flusher, and so many of those products here. See it. <laughs> Welcome back to the legend Life and Times with Francis Okole. Don't forget that I told you we are talking about uh, a wonderful woman, a woman that has really paid her dues in the theatre world, Taiwo Ajayi Lizet and Awori in the gym in Lagos. We are in Lagos enjoying and cruising in Lagos and we are talking about this wonderful woman, so talented, so gifted. The first woman that ever acted with Frank Spencer. Some others do have it fame. And as I was telling you, even to today, she's being paid. Paid. That is wonderful. You know, it's so wonderful to be part of those productions. Frank Spencer was used to, to experiment so many products then. So many products then. I love him. Her works. In 1966, she acted The Lion and Jewel. As a village girl, CD, very popular one, and that was her debut. In 1971, she acted Modros Angels, and she, her role was Patrick Lumumba's wife. And in 1973, Life Everlasting. 1974, The National Health. 1974, also, The Black and White Ministry, and she acted performer. In 1972, Edinburgh Festival Fringe, she performed there. 1976, also passive post by she added Tola for La Gulu. Some mothers do have them, I told you. This is in two, episode five. Father's Clinic. You can browse it, you can check it. That is Taiwo Ajayi Lesson, a very wonderful woman from Nigeria that really made Nigeria proud, West Africa proud, and Africa proud. The Crown Court, she acted in 1976. The Honorable in 1992. Tinsel, the popular TV series in African Magic. She's there, wonderful. Dazzling Myrich in 2014. The Inheritors, King of Boys, The Return of the King in 2021. Elisha you know the popular adaptation, Death and the King's Husband, Elisha she acted it in 2022. 2022. Taiwo is somebody that we cannot rule out when we talk about theatre and theatre and performing acts in Nigeria. Though she also delved into cosmetology, she also presented, she also, she has won so many awards to her credit and so wonderful a woman. She Actually, schooled in London, as I told you, a, a female trace. And you know, I told you she married Thomas Lysett after having problem with uh, Mr. Akediro that violated her. I also told you that she was raped. And sometime she celebrated her 80th birthday. She's 82. 82. Taiwo Ajayi said, is somebody that we have brought to you from a worry. She's an OON member of the Order of Niger, born on the 3rd February 1941, a Nigerian actress, journalist, television presenter, cosmetologist, and a feminist that stood her ground, never cheated, never allowed to be cheated, and was the first editor of African Women magazine in the 1970s. We have gone to a worry, Lagos State. The form, under the former British Nigeria. And we've spoken about Taiwo Ajayele said, a wonderful woman that really paid her dues when it comes to the film industry, the presenting world, the theater, the entertainment world. They were the ones that actually 
did the theater to the core. Sound, fluent, and uh, very, very eloquent. We have gone, and we want to, I want to disembark, I want to park, so that you can take water, take nokba, take fruit, and eat. Because we are going on another journey. Till I come your way on Legend Life on Times, it has been Francis Okole, your anchor, your pilot, your captain, that has taken you on this wonderful journey. Next time, when we come again, it's bye-bye.